Hey folks, today we're going to make the best mashed potatoes that you have ever had. They are so delicious and addictive, a good friend of mine actually refers to these as potato crack. First, peel about two and a half pounds of potatoes. Your russets, your white potatoes work really well for this. I use red potatoes a lot of times because I keep those on hand. And when I do the reds, I actually just keep the skin on. Adds an extra layer of texture. The reason I peel about two and a half pounds is because it's simply half of a five pound bag. After you got all those peeled, just give them a good wash. Now we need to dice these up. Dice them up in about a half inch dice. Keep them as consistent as you can because the more consistent they are in size, the more evenly they will cook. No, I'm not that fast with a knife. I just sped the video up. The reason this recipe is so delicious is it plays towards your primal craving for fat and starch. The starch is for the potatoes and the heavy cream that you'll see in a minute is for the fat. I like using a steak knife for this instead of a butcher's knife. The less amount of steel has less friction going through the potato and it sticks a lot less. You can also use a vegetable knife if you have one. Okay, go ahead and add everything to your favorite pot. Next, we're going to add a tablespoon of oil to the pot. This prevents the pot from boiling over. It's a good idea to do whenever you have a lot of starch boiling, such as potatoes or pasta. Now add a heavy pinch of salt. And fill it up with water. Now boil it for about 30 minutes. may need longer but make sure that these are fork tender you can just take one out squish it with a fork like this and that's how you know it's ready now drain your potatoes not shown and go ahead and chop up a stick of butter I said this was delicious I did not say it was healthy now throw your butter in and let that start to melt the residual heat from the pot should be enough Now we're going to add our potatoes and the residual heat from the potatoes is more than enough to melt the butter. Now we add some heavy cream, not half and half, not milk, not oat milk or almond milk, but heavy cream. Now start smashing. Notice I only added about a half at a time. This is not an exact measurement. We just want to add as much as the potatoes will absorb. In the meantime, go ahead and add a heavy pinch of salt or two, depending on your taste. Give it a good stir, start mashing, and we're going to slowly add in more cream. It should take about one cup, but it may take a little bit more, may take a little less. You can always add a little more cream, you can't take it back out. And now we get to plate and enjoy these absolutely delicious mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching and please be sure to like and subscribe.